Hey everyone, it's Raphael from XX Raphael Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to add in a reset button for Unity. So think of this button as simply a, I guess it's a restart game button. Like let's say your game is saying game over and you want to restart. This is a good way to do it because it's an efficient way to reset your scene from the beginning. So th this project is simply an empty project, but if you're making a game, I'm assuming you already have your canvas set up. So let's work from here. I'm going to go in and right click my canvas UI and I'm going to click button. So this is simply give me a button. I'm going to resize that so it fits my screen. And I'm also going to change the text. So go to the button, drop down arrow and click the text. And this button will say, let's do restart game. And to make it visible, let's set our font size to about 60. All right, to test that this button is good enough, let's go to click game. And now we can see that it fits our screen. All right, so that's good enough. Now let's go ahead and go back to project and create a new script. So right click in the assets, create and do C sharp script. And now we can call this script whatever we want. I'm going to call mine simply uh, let's do control. All right, and then here. After we're done with this, go to a main camera. So in the hierarchy, go to main camera. And then over here, click on add component and search up the um, script you just created. So in my case, I called mine control. I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna double click on he over here. So double click on that script. And in my case, it's going to open up Visual Studio. Now, if it opens up any other like code editor, like let's say mono develop, that should still be okay because as long as you enter the same code, it should work. All right, so let's go ahead and we don't actually have to do anything with these, you know, the void start void update, simply create a new a method. So I'll do public void and this will be reset the game. And before we can add in our line of code though, go over here to line three and add in a new line and then we do unity engine so using unity engine dot scene management all right then now back into the method earlier in this line we're going to do scene manager we're going to utilize that uh, dot load scene um, bracket scene manager dot get active scene then open bracket close bracket dot build index and that is simply all we have to do in this method. But now if you want to, this is just for extra like debugging stuff. If you want to make sure it's working, you can do print and we'll also add in a, some speech marks here where it will say in the console, the button is working. So this last line is not necessary, but if you're like debugging your game and you want to see if the button is actually working, well, you can actually see it in the console of Unity. So the important line of code really is the, top one here, the scene manager that loads scene, all right? So the only thing I'm gonna do left is simply go back to the um, main Unity um, program and then go to the button and we're gonna make it like, we're gonna make it um, look at, we're gonna make it execute this line of code, all right? So let's go to button and we're gonna go ahead and go to on click. Now, if right now it's saying list is empty. So click the plus button and underneath the runtime only, you'll see a box that says none. Drag in your main camera from the hierarchy bar and it should fill up that box. Now, underneath the box that says no function, well, before we do that, let's go ahead and check what we called our method that was called reset the game. So remember that name, reset the game. Go to no function. Now, control, name for script. And then we called ours reset the game. So choose that. And that's simply all you have to do. Now, if you want to go ahead and run your game, just click the play button. And to see if it's working, like I said earlier, go to console and click the button. Now you can see that it's saying the button is working as I click on this button many times. So once you've got that down, that's all you have to do. Now let's go ahead and show you an example of this. Okay, so this is a maze game that I was making for fun. So if I go ahead and like hit one of the sides, now we can click the retry button and it will restart the game, all right? So that's simply an example of what you can do. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you out and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions. 
Raphael out and I will see you soon.